Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel Aware Science is all about trying to learn various concepts over the science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, we are going to solve this question on lead code regarding status of flight tickets. The difficulty level of this question is hard and I'm going to share the SQL schema as well as the Panda schema in the description box below. Okay, the question reads, we are given a table called flights with two different columns, flight ID and capacity. Flight ID column contains distinct values. Each row of this table contains flight ID and the capacity. We are also given a second table called passengers with three different columns, passenger ID flight id and booking time passenger id and booking time column contains distinct values each row of this table contains passenger id booking time and their flight id passenger book tickets for flights in advance if a passenger books a ticket for a flight and there are still empty seats available on the flight the passenger's ticket will be confirmed however the passenger will be on the wait list if the flight is already at full capacity okay we are asked to write a solution to determine the current status of the flight tickets for each passenger return the result table ordered by passenger id in ascending order okay let's go through this example so here we have three different flights flight id 1 2 and 3 and their capacity is being 2 2 and 1 respectively and if we look at okay so passenger id 101 flight id is 1 so basically in flight id 1 there are three different bookings so obviously two of them are confirmed and one is wait list why because the capacity is 2 so obviously those people will be confirmed who booked first so out of these three the earliest booking is at 12 am at 10th of july 2023 so confirmed then the next booking came at 4 30 pm so confirmed but the next one since the capacity would be at full because there are only two seats available and two of the bookings are done so this will be waitlist right similarly for other passenger ids and that is what you have in your output so to solve this question what we basically need to do is firstly we need to find out okay in the passengers table for every flight id what is the capacity they have and then we can rank based on the booking time to get okay who booked first because based on who booked first and the capacity we are going to determine whether it is confirmed or waitlisted so let's go ahead and do that so from this table called passengers aliased as p let me left to join the flights table aliased as f using the flight id column because that is the common column using the flight id column and let me return all the columns from the passenger table and we are only concerned about the capacity column from the flights table let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so if we look at it now we have for every passenger id flight id and booking time what is their capacity okay once we have the capacities then what we need is for every flight id we can rank based on the booking time so that we get okay who booked first who booked second and so on so we can go ahead and do let's rank now we know there are three different ways of ranking row number rank dense rank you can use any of them in this particular case i am going to use the row number part so row number and then since this is a window function so we need to write the over clause we need for every flight id so partition by the flight id flight id is coming from the passengers table so p dot flight id and then you order by booking time also coming from passengers table p dot booking time and then it should be in ascending order yes and then let's alias this as let's call this as book rank or booking rank whatever you prefer okay let me go ahead and run this now let's see what do we get in our output okay so if we now look at this let me just drag it to the left so that is easier for us to visualize let me drag it above okay so now you have okay for every flight id this was the first booking this was the second booking this was the third booking right so obviously these two are confirmed because the booking rank is less than or equal to the capacity so yes there is still capacity and you are confirmed but whenever your book rank is getting more than the capacity that means the capacity is already full and you are going to be waitlisted we can apply the same logic to get the confirmed or waitlisted part so let's store this entire thing in a common table expression so with cte as this entire thing goes into parentheses and then what we do is from this table called cte we are only going to keep the passenger id because that is what we need in our output passenger id and then use the case when statements to apply the logic whether it was confirmed or waitlisted so case when your booking rank is 
less than or equal to the capacity that means the seats are still empty then you are confirmed else you are wait listed then since we started a case win statement we need to end as and this should be aliased as status as we see in our output okay so once we have this this should also be ordered by passenger id in ascending order right so let me go ahead and do order by passenger id okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so yeah this is accepted if I go ahead and see our output looks exactly like expected output. Let me go ahead and submit this to pass all the test cases. So this is accepted and this is how we do it. So yes, somewhat tricky question. What we basically had to do was firstly, we found out, okay, for every flight, the passengers have booked. What is the capacity from the flight stable? Then we based on the booking time for each flight, we got a rank to know that, okay, which passenger booked earliest, then who was the second booking, third booking and so on. So that we can compare the booking rank with the capacity to get whether it is a confirmed ticket or a waitlist status. So yeah, this is how we do it. Let me know if there's a better or more efficient solution to solve this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next video.